but the rain will carry on regardless. So this was the um, this was the copy. It gets fucking worse. <laughs> Right then, so what we're going to do is I'm going to read out my reply. Now I'm going to flick through this because this is quite self-explanatory. I don't have to comment on my own reply. Um, right, so it says, Thanks for getting back to me, I think, question mark. So firstly, I want to say something about the beginning of your email. I put this in quotation marks. I'm writing about your recent video slamming our R3 Superbike build series. If it wasn't bullshit, then where then, then if it wasn't bullshit, then there would be nothing to say. But I'm not going to argue over technical details. There's no need. It's in black and white. I mean, basically the video. Uh, you can go through your entire company history, but you seem to be wasting your time. How this has any influence on the content of your videos or mine is beyond me. My video is a failure analysis video of the video you, TST, have published. Comments I made about your husband bullshitting are totally sound. What he said was total crap. Anyone can read a Yamaha schematic if they can be bothered. Seeing as though you brought it up, I think if your husband had any engineering qualifications, they should be retracted. Calling anyone... Everyone or anyone who disagrees with you a hater is quite typical of people who have been caught with their trousers down, so to speak. You did ask, where is the gain in that, question mark, viewership, question mark. The gain is in the comments of my videos. People learn from other people's mistakes. It's the added bullshit that adds to the humour of the video. 90% of my video is tech talk. You then go on to say... We have never had any qualms with people who want to challenge us. Bring new thoughts, suggestions, etc. We welcome it. That's part of what makes it fun, and it's also part of the learning process. In brackets, when people actually know what they're talking about. Close brackets. And then I put, apart from now, question mark. But why the crass, cruel language? Why the cheap shots, personal slams? So this is the real meat of your complaint whining. Language is just language. And it's on my video, not yours. Don't like it, don't watch. People who do watch don't take the swearing away with them. They take the impression of what stupid people say, or in other words, context. So what I'm trying to say there, I will elaborate on that, is that if I go, the guy's a fucking idiot, this is why, blah, 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 people, and this is reflected in the comments, every fucking single comment, People's comments were, oh, I think it's ring gaps, or that was a good video, Matt, it's good to see how you broke that down. Can you do more videos on failure analysis? How did you get to this conclusion? Blah, 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 blah. It was the context of the entire video that people took away from that. Not people, there wasn't 150,000 comments of people laughing going, oh, when you called him a dickhead, it was excellent. I'm off to go and do it myself now. You know what I mean? It's not what, there is probably one or two people who do that, but the majority of people... They take away the, the meat, the content, as people say. Or if you ask Dell, it's fake content. Um, I must say, you've tried hard um, parading the idea of your innocent children, like the video I made, has any impact on them whatsoever. It might do, because, like I say, she's worried about losing business, so it means that they can't have the latest iPhone for another two months. Um, yeah, innocent children that have any impact on them whatsoever. That That is quite low. And there may be some part of this will resonate with you and yield some positive results is golden. There is something positive. People learn from failure analysis, learn about engines, and also learn that adding countless amounts of mods that companies like you obviously don't know how to implement properly are just out to grab your money. The last line I've quoted should have read like this. So I'm translating what she's trying to say, just for the fun. Maybe you'll, f maybe you'll feel bad and sorry for me and my family. 
I understand that you point out that we don't know what we are doing, in brackets, this is obvious because the actual the engine actually did fail. If you could stop being nasty, as this is affecting our business, then we could get back to taking money off people who don't know better. And then put, this is the end of that, to be honest, love, your man should be fighting his own battles and actually read a book on engineering. Obviously, and sadly for you, he doesn't have the balls or the brains to do either. And I said, regards, Matt Hudson. Her reply to this, well, and it's, it's, another, it's almost a shit sandwich. Her reply was, well, I guess I was wondering if you really are the person you betray... Or if there was a decent human in there somewhere. <laughs> Clearly your email proves the latter is untrue. It was... And that's word salad is that. I do like that. Because when you read it, you're like... Clearly, that, clearly your email proves that the latter was untrue. So you have to go... Decent human being in there somewhere. That is untrue. Right, I get you now. It's word salad, and it's a very clever way of jumbling up... Well, bullshit, really. It's almost, it's like calling someone a cunt without actually just saying the word. It was the risk I took when writing my email, which... What risk? What risk? <laughs> you know, again, the victim, the victimisation thing. It was the risk I took when writing my email, which I did on my own accord, by the way. So she's obviously worried that we're going to think that this is Bart writing this. Which... I don't think the guy's clever enough to actually come out with all this stuff. It does sound like a woman wrote this. Um, because, generally speaking, women do write a lot better than men. Bart doesn't have the time to care about this kind of stuff. Normally, I wouldn't either. It just hit me differently than usual for some reason. And I felt a pull to communicate that. Oh, for, are we going to get into fucking Priogin here or what? I won't waste more time pulling apart all the ways you were mistaken about the build and about TST. Ah, they never do! So if you do see this video, please, I'm begging you, just for the video, I would love you or Bart or that TW Sam Rockwell looking motherfucker to say something. That's the whole point. You want to defend your business? Because if you do come out with sound stuff, I will convey that and I will say, do you know what? Maybe I jumped off the, off the diving board a bit quick with this one. They said this, they said this, they said this. If they can defend these points, I will put them forward. Simple as that. But wasting time pulling apart all the ways you were mistaken. Do it, please. Seriously, that's sincere. It's not me being a wanker. It's not me being... A horrible subhuman being who doesn't understand that you've got two kids or whatever. It doesn't matter. Like I say, you come out with the facts. You come out with anything. Would be great. It's always that I'm not going to... It's kind of like, you know when you were at school and someone used to say to you, yeah, yeah, I know what it is. And you're like, well, go on then. Like, no, no, no. Because if I tell you, then you're going to say you knew. You know what I mean? No, no, I know what it is. You're like, no, you don't. You're like, yeah, I know what it is. But if I say it, then you're just going to say, yeah, yeah, I knew that. So, I, And you can just see it on the face that they don't know what they're talking about. It's like a stupid little game, isn't it? It was never my original intent. And it will, obvious, it, it will obviously fall on very deaf ears. Since my point was clearly lost, keep doing what you're doing. The great part is, at the end of the day, it still pulls in money. It still puts money in our pockets. Have a good one, Kimberly. So, again, shit sandwich. She finished off there. And like she said, she's the one who mentions money. It still puts money in our pockets. And I was the one blamed for monetarisation. And trying to do it for the views, the hits, the whatever, the monetarisation, the fucking money. You know what I mean? And then she ends it with money. She's mentioned money more times than fucking anybody. I'm talking about engineering and facts. Fuck's sake, what we can see. I would love to know. And I would love to be wrong. Seriously, I would love to be wrong. I'd love them to say blah, 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 blah. And there will be a future video that they do. And we all know that even if what I said was exactly true, which I don't entirely believe, um, that's just one option of many fucking failures. It's getting too dark in here again. That's just one option of many failures that it could be. 
<coughs> or it could be multiple failures. The fact of the matter is it did fail. The fact of the matter is that engine ran before they touched it. So the fault does lie with them, which is fact. You put your hands up and say, yeah, we fucked it. Not a problem. Uh, but this mention of money, it's like, obviously the original intent, the original intent was for you to try and get me to fucking change my mind and reverse what I said and apologise and stuff like that. It's not going to fucking happen. There's nothing wrong with what I said. Um, you know, it's, since my point was clearly lost, what was your point? Your point was exactly, please stop being nasty to us. And that's why I did that whole... You know, maybe you'll feel bad and sorry for me and my family. I understand you pointed out that we don't know what we are doing. If you could stop being nasty, as this is affecting our business, then we could get back to taking people's money who don't know any better. That's exactly what you... Well, that was your point. You know what I mean? What can I say? This is what people are tired of. This is why a lot of people watch this channel. This is why a lot of people watch AVE. Um, and there's probably a few more out there. But we're, we're, we're thin on the ground. I don't care if it's Scott Euler selling that fucking shit 365 days of the year. I don't care if it's Evans, Polestar. We'll get to them. I don't care who it is. Power Mods. That guy was banging on about Evans. Um, the reason why I, the reason why I haven't gone after that fucker is because he does a test. I need to reproduce that test and show you what really happens, not the crap that he comes out with. Um, you know, it's it's what it's all about. It. The fact of the matter is, is as she says, and she's writing one thing: money, 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 money. There's one point I want to stop on, uh, finish on. Which rolls in Dell and these TL, TST fucking... I need to think of an acronym for TFT. TST. If you've got a good one, stick it in the comments. Hammer dog shit came from Andy. It was fucking beautiful. Um, you know what I mean? So, stuff like that. It's weird it's about money because the next video they released was about how to install a tail light under tray unit or whatever it was that they sell. But... Just like eBay, in a sense. When eBay started out, it was people getting rid of their second-hand shit. People you have in a cupboard that you don't want or forgot about that people out there are after and love. Then it got took and it's commercialised. Now it's commercialised to it's fucking blue in the teeth. You know what I mean? Um, eBay is just littered with shite. You know what I mean? Absolutely littered with Chinese rubbish. The Chinese market is saturated eBay. There is some good stuff you can get, but you get what I mean. But it has its uses, and if you know how to navigate through the shite, then you can find good stuff. Um, and YouTube is the same thing. YouTube was YouTube, not business tube, but they've all got on that bandwagon. But don't get me wrong, just like eBay, it does help because we can we gain access, and there's some videos that I've used that show you processes um, that without going to go and visit these plants, and some of these plants, like I said, they're in Japan and stuff like that, we wouldn't be able to get to see this stuff. So, it, you know, it swings and roundabouts. The problem I have is when there's a business that looks shiny. You know, we're in a fucking brick shed. This is shit. But it's the content that matters, not how beautified it is. And how many sparkly bits I have. And how much I do my hair, or whatever. Or how many, time, how many hours I don't spend in the gym. It's got fuck all to do with that. There's a lot. There's quite a few channels out there where they're, you know, they really are trying to get on the lucrative side of things. And you, as long as you take it for what it is, um, there's guys out there doing mechanics channels on cars usually, where they've got fucking scantily clad girls. I love them. I love looking at them. You know what I mean? There's no problem with that, just as long as you're quite transparent with the way it is. And that's the problem when they start to bullshit and give you shit advice. You know. You've got people like the Darksiders. Right, contact Michelin. The people who make the tyres. They even make car tyres. They're saying, no, don't fucking do that. That's a fucking bad idea. There's a reason why we have bike sections. There's a reason why we have an entire bike fucking website specifically for that. There's a reason why your bike tyre looks very much different than your car tyre. There's a reason why the beads don't fit. There's a reason... 
there's a reason why you are finding it very, very difficult to find car tyres that fit motorcycles. There's a reason why you have to fucking put 140 PSI in it to get it to bead, and not properly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck me. Oh, there's a reason why it says on your tank, do not put diesel in it. You know, and there's loads of people who comments and stuff saying, well, it doesn't say in the manual not to use copper grease on your brakes. It also doesn't say fucking smother banana on your discs. Fuck's sake. Because common sense. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ. But there's one thing I do want to finish on. Still haven't got there. Massive tangent. Should put the tangent alert thing up. I'll have to make a klaxon or something when I'm going to have to go off on one. But there's one thing I do want to say, which is... Um, and I've lost it again. Oh, the monetarising thing. Yes, making money. Right. So I know... I know the um, ultimate way to make money on YouTube. It's easy. We'll use Dell as an example. It's not slagging them off. But this is how it works. I make this YouTube channel. I go from two or three thousand subs all the way up to fucking... Uh, fuck it, fucking. I go from two or three thousand subs within a year to about 50, no, 40,000 subscribers. Views have gone past 10 million. It's fucking crazy. Now, I piss off Scott Euler. I piss off Evans to the point where the MD in the UK is contacting me directly and on the videos. I piss off loads and loads of people, right? Now, if I really wanted to make it big in YouTube, I wouldn't swear. I wouldn't say... Uh, you know, I'd light it better, I'd do all these things, I would release a video, I've made the 40,000 now, I can literally release two videos a week, spend a lot more time vignetting, getting the light right, do a bit of this old Tony or two-stroke stuff in, make it more of an artsy, artsy, fartsy, you know, fuck around with the f-stop, which if you don't know, it's a focus, you know, your macro right close and everything's blurred out and then you transition, I could spend all that time, I could get a better editing software, fuck around i could spend a lot more time on the thumbnails i could think about things i could script things out and put a board up there with the basic bullet points because i can't do scripts i could polish it i could not smoke i could not drink people are whinging about me eating in a thing that says dinner with matt retard i could not go out on a limb i could just say nice things to people i could not do comment corner I could not do the Dell Boy videos. In other words, I could actually go the other way. Check out Dell's channel, it's awesome. He's doing this awesome bike project. This is what he's doing. It's gone a bit wrong, but maybe he's doing that intentionally so he can show us what you shouldn't do as well. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I could even go and see Dell and do a Missenden Flyer interview and go and do a. De I could sit there with Dell and Penny and have a good chat and be very good mates with them. And I could make him, machine him up some brackets and send it to him. And I'll be happy, happy, clappy. But I can't stomach that because it's bullshit. But that would be the way to make it. I've got Dell with his 90,000 subscribers saying, go check out Matt's channel. My subscribership would go up 20,000 subs in about a month. No fucking problem. You know, you could talk to all these people and get in in this little internet, little fucking circle jerking of we're all making money and it's all great. I can't stomach it. Can't do that. There's too much of that wank. You know, you hold my penis while I hold yours and we'll piss together. I can't do it. I just fucking can't do it. Oh. Doing my own thing. In my own style. The way I want to do it. I call it a style. This is just the way I am. Tim, Andy, people like that. Other commenters who know me personally in real life and who know me and stuff like that. That comment in the videos frequently and stuff. This is just me. Yes, I can be a twat. Sometimes I'm fucking annoying and a bit intense. It, I can't change that. It's just me. This is YouTube, which basically means me-tube. And you, in a sense. It, that's the whole point of why it was a successful name, because it's what you want to watch when you want to watch it, and it's what I want to make when I want to publish it. It's as simple as that. And this circle jerking, you know what I mean? That would be the easiest way to make money. That would be the easiest way to make subscribers. Like I say, 
If I was all bummy chummy with Dell and said, Dell, I've got a video, or, and I kept on mentioning him, eventually he'd say, oh yeah, maybe we should do a meet-up. Two channels coming together. I've got a thing here, and Dell's subscribership jumped up by about 500 extra on what he usually has as soon as he did the Missenden Flyer um, interview. That video came out, and then that, then following two weeks, uh, no, the following week, he jumped up by 500 subscribers above his normal average slowly uh, slow increase. That's the whole point. If you want to do like this kind of stuff, then you do that kind of stuff. But no, I would love the Missenden Flyer to do an interview with me. He can ask me what the fuck he wants. You know what I mean? He can come here and we can just do a video. But he won't because, oh, he's not my kind of... Fine, I don't care. That's great. To be quite honest, I'd much rather take the piss out of him anyway. You know, hello boys and girls, don't get me fucking started on that. Ooh. But anyway, <laughs> hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.